time it's for a timeline. Uh, kind of a different project for you, not only because of the period and the genre, but also because of the experience making it? Oh, yeah. Of How? course. Well, you know, it was just... It was just... I mean, this is still a commercial movie, but it mm. just... It felt... It just felt so different. And I, I don't really know why that is. I think a lot of it, like, in the past, it's been more just... This is a real collaborative effort. Mm. First off, there's a lot more people involved. I mean, this yeah. is truly an ensemble piece, right? And the people that came on, I mean, I really feel like I worked with some really talented people. Mm. Like, people where I just was like, oh. Like, Mike, like Michael Sheen, for instance, like, he's, he was just he's amazing. Great. And uh, I learned a lot from, uh, from Anna Friel. I love her. And, uh, I liked working with David a lot. Billy just had really good energy, and I love being around him. Um, uh, Matt Craven, I learned a lot from him. He plays, uh, he plays Kramer. Yeah. You know, he wears the glasses in the movie. That, that guy's awesome. I really like that guy. Really talented, and I just think he had a really good outlook. Because the thing of it is, it's like I'm still kind of just trying to figure out how to manage everything in my life and like the movie business and that sort of mm -hmm. thing. And you work with people that have been around and been doing it for a while and then have been exposed to various personalities and have seen how different people handle this and handle that. Yeah. And that's where I really gained a lot of insight from Matt Craven because he's he's been at it for a long time and you know he's a family man and like I really respect him he's a good guy so I learned a lot learned a lot from Richard you know um, he loves you I was always asking questions mm -hmm. I felt like I was driving him crazy half the time because I asked so many damn questions <laughs> oh but, that's fine yeah. well you know it, it also you know uh, was a little bit like the character initially he's a bit of a fish out of water he's in it for the girl only but then he blends you know he learns that it's more than just for the girl, mm -hmm. doesn't he? Well, I think, I think really initially, I think that mm. too, that, like, I remember just even just a couple years ago, even still today, you know, mm. there are times where you're just going, you wake up, you know how it is, some days you wake up and you go, what am I doing? Like, really, what am I doing in my life? This is my life. Like, mm. This is my life we're talking about I'm right now. I'm living it now. I get, I get yeah. one shot, right? True. What am I really doing? Mm. Okay, and I think this guy was at the peak of that. Mm. Like my, the Chris character, the character I portray, I think he's just kind of like going, man, I'm 26 years old. You know, I, sh I should have like a career. I should have something going for myself right now. Mm -hmm. And he just, he really doesn't have a clue. He's just trying to figure it out. And then to make matters even worse, he falls in love with this girl who's like super career driven. And he's going, man, what do I have to offer? And I really think he loves this girl for all the right reasons. Mm -hmm. And he's just going bananas. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's like all of a sudden he wants answers. He just wants to reel it all in. And he wants to like, he, he wants this. He wants this package. You know, it's like, hey, my dad is a constant. I have a great relationship with him. He's awesome. There's this void. I still don't know really where I want to go or what I want to do in my mm. life, but I want this girl to be a part of it. So he's missing pieces and he's trying to like put it together as best as he can, real fast. Well, it's interesting how always the, the subject of time travel, you know, <coughs> makes people learn a lot about themselves, you know, in terms of a theme. Uh, that's what happens. He learns a lot about what he wants to do. He learns, he gets through an emotional voyage in some sense, don't you agree? Well, I think, I think also, I think he just, mm. he has a lot more confidence at the end of it. I think, yeah. he, I don't think he gave himself enough credit. You know, and like, it's very when, he's, different, yeah, like when he's really faced with like a situation, the guy, mm. like, he's a man of action. Like he comes up, and I think he's like I think he impresses himself along the way. Well, do you live? I mean, Billy Connolly said something very interesting about you: is that that you feel that movies are in the way of your social life in terms of uh, you know, if it was only up to you, you'd only surf and ride fast cars. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you feel that way. Yeah. Sometimes you feel that way. It's like with any job, you know. And sometimes you just go, man, you know what? It's like <laughs> I just I'm living to make movies, or I'm living to you know come and push a pen, or I'm living to be in the courtroom every mm -hmm. day. It doesn't matter. You know, it's like there's certain times where it's like, I now I haven't worked for a while, and I'm just dying to get back to work. Oh, really? You know? Oh, yeah. It's just, it's just the way it goes. Because I, I always feel, you know, meeting you, that you are the ki kind of candid movie star, you know, about the industry. You're not cynical at all. You just let it happen to you in, in a very spontaneous way. Uh, is that the right impression? You're not, like, kind of playing the movie star role at all. No. Well, even if I wanted to, mm. I couldn't play it. <laughs> I just, I wouldn't know how to, because it's just, it's not, I don't know. That's not a part of me. Like I can't, mm. I can't do it. I can't pretend to like belong because I like I don't know that I necessarily feel like I belong here. Like I feel like you talk about fish out of water. Like that's mm. how I feel in in Hollywood. Like I feel like what like what the what the hell am I doing here half the time? <laughs> you know, but but I enjoy it. I love making movies, and I love I lo the thing that's great is it's like mm. when you find somebody that's just like like a good person. 
you know how it is like when you come in contact with somebody and it's like especially in this industry because there's so much like people are so distracted and a lot of people lose perspective and like what's really important and stuff Take but the one thing I gotta tell you is when you find someone like solid mm -hmm. in the industry like they're the most exceptional people ever mm -hmm. Matt Craven's one Billy Connolly would be one John Voight would be another you know I really like Jeff Daniels that guy's awesome you know and it's like I don't know that's what I like thank you no problem. Nice to see you.